What's going on guys, Angel here. Welcome back to On Feet. This is where I check out new and old sneakers. I unbox them, get my first impressions, and after that, I show them off on feet. I had to get my phone out for this one because I want to make sure I say the name right. This is the Adidas Turex Free Hiker Gore-Tex 2.0 hiking shoes. Shout out to uh, Hess Kicks. Uh, he's the one who actually put me onto this deal. It was It's currently 161 right now, but if you use a code, it brings the price down to 1 12. It's actually one of the most expensive shoes that I would have bought if I bought this retail. It currently runs for $230, which is pretty incredible. Um, this is pretty much what I'd like to call a shoot, which is a shoe and a boot combined into one amazing waterproof shoe. This is actually my first type of uh, shoe from them or really boot from them. And I'm very curious on how it's gonna be. I've been trying to find a Gore-Tex shoe from them for the longest time, mainly because I wanted something fully waterproof, not just waterproof, but fully waterproof. And Gore-Tex is what that does. And this is the 2.0 version. So the fact that I was getting a 2.0 version of this, they do have the 10 and a half still in stock. And that is the size I got. Some of the features of the shoe, once again, are gonna be that they're fully waterproof or they use Gore-Tex to make them waterproof. It's gonna have a boost insole and on top of that they use continental rubber as the uh, outsole of the shoe. The color I got was core black gray 6 and gray 3 so this is honestly the best colorway of this shoe. All the other ones look kind of weird or the colorways just they didn't do right with the color blocking on this one so I'm kind of glad that they had this one in stock. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now this is the freaking box. It doesn't even fit. Well it kind of fits in frame if I do it that way. Not anymore. All right, so let me try to open this thing up and uh, give me a second. Because they put it in this giant box, they already kind of fell out and that's okay though. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. Oh wow, they actually look really nice. They look really, really nice. Okay, let me let me put this stuff away really quick guys and then uh, I'll check them out. Alrighty, so one thing that I noticed right off the bat, it also doesn't come in your standard uh, Adidas box. In fact, here it is. So it has the Adidas logo very faint in there. I don't even know if you all can pick it up on camera or not, um, but it comes in this pretty plain box. And then on the side here, it has Turex and again, 10 and a half. I don't know if I should have got a 10 in this, but most boots, I do usually wear a 10. The only reason I got a 10 and a half in this was because of the way it looked. It looked kind of like it was gonna be tight on the feet. So I went with the 10 and a half. If it is a 10, if I do need a 10, I can always return it. But this is the shoe, as you see here. I do like the way it looks. Like it looks visually pleasing. This is the bottom, the sole here. You got that continental rubber there. In fact, I must say the continental rubber, when they have that on any of their like Ultra Boost shoes or the 40, uh, 40 line of shoes or the 3D printed ones. The grip that I get is better than any other shoe that I've used. For some odd reason, that continental rubber is actually really good. I do feel like more companies should actually partner with shoe companies to use like or make the outsole of the shoe, mainly because it's great for gripping. I mean, if you think about it, most of your tire rubber is gonna be waterproof and meant for all seasons, so why not put it on the shoe? That's the tread pattern as you see there. It is meant for kind of hiking. I do like the back here. It has this nice kind of narrowness to it. Nice fit type of, it seems like it's definitely gonna fit snug. On the side here, it does show Gore-Tex if you wanna get a little bit more in the close up. I do like that the boost feels very squishy on this. For a boot though, I must say it's pretty light. Um, it's not like it's steel toed or anything. Some of the work boots that I actually have now are literally like two pounds. So this is pretty much nothing compared to that. All right, y'all, I'm gonna make this quick. As you can kind of see, I've already got a boost because I'm wearing one of them. And let me tell you, it gives you about an extra two inches. These things, first of all, they fit perfectly. They do have a prime nip upper that really does help keep it very snug. I'm glad that I went with a 10 and a half. I thought they were gonna be too big. I'm literally looking at it, I'm like, man, this looks like a huge shoe. But it turns out that this is actually the perfect size. I'm glad that I went with the 10 and a half because it does fit very snug. So if you're wondering what the size comparison is, just go true to size. Um, that's what I would go with. I don't think you need to go size up or anything unless you have wider feet. Uh, you may want to go size up then, but honestly, they fit true to size for me. Honestly, guys, this is the most grip I've ever had on any other shoe. First of all, it's literally like an inch of grip. If you kind of look at the tread, the tread design is very nice. Like I said, you get pretty much a boost of like two inches when you're wearing this. So if you want to be taller, hey, this is the way. I got to say, these things feel amazing on feet. 
They're very comfy. It feels like I could honestly run in these. The fact that I was able to get this for literally $112 versus $230, that's literally over $100 in savings. So I'd say go out and get it now. At least while the sale lasts, if you have the money, go out and get it now because this one is definitely worth it in my opinion. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all did enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let me know what y'all thought of them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Till next time, you guys, peace out.